Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you about false doctrines because these people who are running the show, they love, you know, create division, segregation, hate, and wars. The list is very long, you know. Um, they do love uh, to manipulate people to go against each other. And who does that? from the Holy Quran, Bible, Torah, uh, the four main religions. Who does that? That's always been a work of Satan, okay? He, he does, does a lot of this, you know, this is his work, you know what I mean? To create division, you know, and all of that. So one of his preachers, you know, the one who's spreading false doctrines. Um, I run into his channel. His channel is not very big, but his attack was on Islam. And he comes across like he's a Muslim because Iran is a Muslim country. And, um, but the more he talks, the more he comes across, he's not really Muslim. Um, I'm going to give you his channel. You guys can go watch to his uh, false doctrine, false teaching. It's based on nothing. He's trying to mix uh, like um, the name of God with a name of demon. Because it's some demons has, I don't know, the one he mentioned, um, has a closer name to the creator, okay? And all the four, four religions, you know, teachings, it's about the same thing. It's, if you look at the you know, similarity, in, and they always say, you know, this religion, you know, borrowed this information and da da da. No, all the fame four more re, uh, four religion. What well, they call them, uh, the religion of Abraham. You know what I'm saying? They are teaching exactly the same thing. Nothing changed. You understand? And and this is what the enemy are doing. They're trying to make all the four religions are like the enemy of each other. Okay. In reality, Islam, Christianity, and all those are all cousins. You know what I'm saying? But who created division? Satan did. You know, he doesn't like. You know, um, because unity in number. You know, we are. You know, when more strong. You know, when unified. When we're like uh, smaller you know, groups working each other, you understand? And you're weaker, you understand? That why, um, you know, United States, uh, Israel and, and United Kingdom and all of those, they all were all working together to divide the, this planet, to divide countries, to divide, to make countries smaller to weaker, you understand? They did that to Russia, and now Russia is waging a war on, on them. And they're afraid of Russia, you know what I mean? they acting like they're not really scared of Russia. They are scared of Russia. That's why they're doing this Ukraine manipulation to get Ukraine to go war with Russia and so the world would turn against Russia. You know, it's manipulation, you understand? All of that is the manipulation. They enjoy it when, when countries are fighting each other, when there is everything in harmony, when everything in harmony, they hate that. They don't like that. They like, you know, you know people are shooting each other, bombs dropping, you know, people killing each other, and it's tough. They get off on that. Like, they, you know, they enjoy it. It's like cinematic 
cinematic events for them. They like to have a bag of popcorn and watching it, enjoying it. Like, you know, the Jews are, uh, you know, selling weapons to both parties so they can fight each other. You understand? Slavery, when the slave being brought from Africa to America, uh, everybody's on America for it, saying, oh, you know, America is slave people. Did this to people. You understand? America enslaved the African, African Americans are brought to, from Africa to the United States. But they're not teaching people who sold the ships to Americans to go get the slaves from Africa. They're the Jews. You understand? Everything always back to them. You know? They're very good in bullshitting people. You know what I'm saying? To hide themselves to or appear like a nice, you know, wholesome, goody-goody people. In reality, they're wicked. Not all of them. The one actually ruling Israel now, they're the wicked. They're the far, the most, you know, toxic people. You understand? And, but the rest of them who are actually against it. If you look on your YouTube, you'll find the ones, Jews who are anti-Zionist. Just look it up on your, uh, on YouTube. You'll find out. These are the good Jews. You understand? So you have to understand there's a, a difference. Not everybody, you know, wearing, you know, have, you know, this like uh, a menorah in their house or wearing, a, you know, a, Jew, a, a Jewish hat or having this little, you know, you know, hair sticking on top you know, side of their, you know, what I mean, this, whatever you call them or things, or wearing, dressed like a Jewish person is a Jew. You understand? Anybody can be a Jew. You just have to dress apart. You know what I'm saying? But in, in consciousness, you are different. You understand? We all can, be, be, we all can pretend to be something else when, that we're not. Okay? Um, wolf in a cheap clothing. Pretty much. Okay? Why do you think they own the media? Why do you think they own all of that and stuff like that? It's all about control, guys. It's about all about deception. It's easier to, to wa- brainwash people. To think we are different. It's one nation. You understand? This planet used to be one nation under one under God. You know what I'm saying? And these people came in and created division between us. You know, Christianity, Islam, you know, uh, Judaism, and all the four main religions are, are fighting each other and stuff like we're different. No, we're not. We are exactly the same. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Why you think the, the rainbow, God, God's rainbow is it's about different uh, ethnic groups. It's not about just the color you see in the sky when it rains. It's about that. Adam and Eve created, you understand, different races because this is the way it is. God made us different, you know what I mean? But in when it comes to DNA and stuff, we're exactly, we're built, you know? God waged war on them before in the past where he cursed them. He turned them into monkeys and pigs. Why do you think the Jews and the Muslims, we don't eat pigs? You know why? Because we know what the pigs are. Pigs is a cursed a Jew. It's a Jewish person. People who are cursed by God turn into monkeys. Some are made, well, in the Holy Quran, it mentioned them specifically. It says they're made to monkeys and to um, to monkeys and to pigs. Okay? They know the truth. But were they going to tell you? No, they're not going to tell you. I went into um, a Jewish store and 
and I ask about the menorah, and I had them specifically questions. I knew what is the question was, uh, the answer to the question, but I just wanted to see if they're going to tell me. You understand? And it was just off of Finishley Road in London, UK. I walked by and they had, the, you know, the menorah on the window. And I just said to him, the menorah, I've seen them. There is some has seven candles and some have nine candles. So I asked him, what's the difference? He told me, um, only supposed to have only uh, seven. The nine is not, uh, is not Jewish. That's what he told me. Guess what? Before I walked out of the store, I saw something. I didn't go back. I didn't ask him. I didn't confront him about it. Uh, I didn't, you know, ask him specifically, why are you lying? Anyhow, I gl- took a glimpse. He has a nine and has a seven. He has two menorahs in his store. But he told me it's not Jewish. Then why are you selling it? You understand? I could have confronted him about it, but I didn't care. I just, I didn't already know, but I don't really care. But I wanted to know if he would tell me. There are the ones who like to hoard information. They don't like to tell you or share anything is, could be beneficial to you. They want to hold all the information. I believe, I tell you what, what I believe. I believe information is supposed to be shared. You understand? It should not be hidden from the masses. You understand? I don't like that. If I know anything, I will, you know, I always share. You know what I'm saying? Because I think of it, if I'm helping somebody, what, this, what I know, it could help somebody else. Why not share that? You understand? Why not? It could be beneficial to somebody else. That how it was beneficial to me. Why would I keep this information from people? You understand? So sometimes I come across like I have this like hate for Jews or hate for Americans or British, whatever. That's not true. I don't like governments. That's my main dislike in this planet. The people are different. You know, people are, we're, it's a melting pot. This country, you know, this planet is a melting pot. We're a mixture of everything. But it used to be, it used to have harmony. This planet used to have to be harmonized. There used, never used to be a chaos ruling over this planet. You understand? This is hate and segregation and, and division it was created you know, children in a, in a park, they play with each other. They don't care what color you are, what nationality you are. The stuff, hate and discrimination and all of that is taught, you know? Because you see it bump, pumped into you in the TV, in the media, and the stuff. When you see stuff, it's just specific ethnic groups being focused on and these, you know what I mean? You know? I wrote a paper when I was, you know, at university. I found, well, what I found out is, is going to shock you. The focus, so for example, for example, let's give an example of your United States. When you go to the jail system, look at the jail systems, the prisons. If you do percentage, you'll find 70% or 60% of people behind bars are blacks or ethnic, you know, Latinos or other ethnic groups. Whites are less. You understand? The majority of the United States are white. Wouldn't you think the majority should be in jail are white, not blacks? No, no. A lot of people do stupid mistakes to create, do stupid, you know, create, uh, uh, do um, stupid, you know, crimes and all of that. Anyhow, in a nutshell, I did my research on, you know, on statistic. I found out the majority of crimes committed in the United States by white people. You understand?
because the percentage of them higher, you know, than African American community or Latinos community or whatnot, or other ethnic groups. Yeah. But the media are the one who's doing all this division because you see always a black or a Latino or or Asian or whatnot in handcuffs. You don't see a lot of white people doing that. So the child, when you a child see that on TV, they be perceive black people are bad people, Latinos are bad people, or uh, Asian are bad people, whatever other ethnic group other than Caucasians. You understand? You have to understand with how the game is played. Don't be fooled by these people. These people are manipulative and bottom feeders. They like to um, bring us to their level because they cannot come to ours. You know? They like to bring us to their level because they cannot come to ours. So, um, I just want you to understand that. To understand these people are, this is their game. They've done it for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Or running certain frequencies on TV. Running certain frequencies on TVs, but when you, commercials, there's some commercials has fre certain frequencies that makes you want to buy that product. You understand? How they're playing us, how they're controlling our emotions and stuff like that. You know, you know, or they'll show you like, you know, you know, stuff that makes you want to go and spend money. F let me tell you something. When people, if they don't do that, people are not going to over um, spend. They're not going to go and buy things they don't need. You understand? That they run certain frequencies to control your, you know, energy and your consciousness, your psyche, you know? So, um, I'm going to get back to why I'm making this video. I'm making this video about these people who are creating a lot of false doctrines to create all division between us, to create um, hate between us and discrimination um, and um, self-help and and self-center mentality and you know not being able, like you don't want to help others and and now we became so divided by social media and stuff people can't get away from their phone for a second we don't really care about people you know if somebody beg you in the street for buy you a set to buy them a sandwich you wouldn't do it things like that we become that person that person horrible and they feel sometimes they feel justified doing it you know yeah i don't give everybody i see money if they ask me for it if i sense that person is gonna go use this money for something that i'm supposed to i'm not gonna but yes i'll feed you you want a sandwich i'll buy you a sandwich you want to slice of pizza, whatever, something to drink, yes, I'll buy it for you, but I'm not going to give you money in your hands, okay? But people don't, some people don't even do that. You understand? Um, and now, even if you're lost and you want somebody to give you direction, people don't even, this is free service. You can, a minute to help somebody. Oh, like, yeah, make a left, go. They don't, you don't even want to do that anymore. You understand? Who created this? You know what I'm saying? Them. They. You know? It. You know? All of that. And they're the one who manipulated us to hate each other. Okay? Don't give them what they want. Do not allow these people to create all this division between us and hate and make us dislike each other okay so anyhow the video i want you to go the channel i want you to go and watch which is full of bs i'll tell you why i'm going to tell you why it's full of bs this guy he goes by the persian maggie persian 
like Persia, you know, Maggie, M-A-G-I, okay? He's on YouTube. Look him up. Be a judge of by yourself. Don't be influenced by me telling you he is a false prophet. He's a false teacher. He's a uh, he he's pulling his information from false doctrines. Okay. He's saying I had this discussion with him, but he didn't really respond. He I responded to one of his video. I just shoot him out because I was listening to him. And and I'm just taking the areas that, you know, all the stuff he's been saying are wrong. Manipulating information to, um, to uh, pretty much um, to push his, you know, false doctrine or um, narrative to make believe. He even changed Arabic words. You know, I speak Arabic, you know, as you guys know. Um, he changed Arabic words to um, basically saying, you know, yes, look at what I'm telling you. He, the words he changed was like, it's so stupid. He changed the name of um, a prophet you know, prophet family, extended family. But anyhow, his, that guy, go look at his, um, his videos. And YouTube full of many people are like him, paid by, you know, YouTube pays people to f spread false doctrines. If you go online, you'll find a lot of people push, you know, pushing for you know, false information and false doctrines and f fake news and all of that. Who created all of that? Haven't you thought about that for a second? Why you believe in everything you hear? Why you or anything you read? You understand? It's all false teaching about these people. They don't like to teach you anything that is beneficial to you. Spreading false information is, 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 they thrive in toxicity, you know, when there's everything is toxic and everything going against each other. They thrive, you know. They're like, you know, a, a pond of pig, you know, a pig in a pond of shit, okay? They love shit like that, you know? He, he said, God is dead. Allah, he's talking about Allah, so specifically Allah. And I spoke to a rabbi before, and and I asked him, a rabbi, like a Jewish rabbi, and, I, and he told me, I asked him if he believed in Allah, is, is, it, is Allah is the same God that Jews pray for? He goes, yes, exactly the same thing. Exactly. Nothing changed. He told me, yeah, yeah, we know him by a different name, but he's the same person. And then I asked him, why then you guys don't like, do, do you do not like Muslims? He never replied. Okay. He never told me why. Why you don't like Muslims? Then we're, since we believe the same God. So what's the problem? Okay? They don't believe in the same prophets. That's a different. But he's not, he doesn't gonna, gonna tell me that. I knew that. But he's not gonna tell me because he, whatever. Anyhow, if you look at Christianity and all of that, you know, and other, you know, it's like they follow the same God, but they know him by different name because, you know, he's from a different era and different time period in life and stuff. God has many names. He has thousands of names. Thousands of oh, thousands of names. In Islam, we have 99 names, okay? In Islam, 99 names. That the names that is honored by him. And it's he that the names are called by him. But most of the names are not really names, are 
uh, aspect of him. Okay, or traits. Anyhow, so this Iranian guy, Persian Maggie guy, is spreading false prof, uh, you know, prof, uh, false um, information to deceive. It's like a wage, they're waging a war in Islam. Similar to 9-11 was done. It's an inside job, but they, ma- they made it seem like a Muslim, you know, Osama bin Laden attacked the United States or whatever. Osama bin Laden is like a, an agent of Secret Service by, you know, a CIA agent. So they dressed him and his stuff. And, and Osama bin Laden is not really Arab. He's Latino guy. You know, you know what I'm saying? Dressed like, you know, they, made, they groomed him and his stuff, and they make him that, you know, his family, and and they made, you know, Saudi Arabia responsible, and da da and it's all, they're all playing, you know, they're all part of this game, you know, they're all working together, you know, even you know, Saudi Arabia, you know, so many countries in the Middle East, they're all working together to spread this deception, you understand? Saudi Arabia will play ball, if United States said jump, they're going to say how high. You understand? Anyhow. So he said, and then a lot of things he said, he's like, he's saying, you know, Allah, you know, Allah is, is the highest um, uh, um, the highest uh, energy or um, uh, of a high energy of God or the Creator Allah, it's like this ego, bold. It's not, not a bold ego. I think it's a bold ego it's in Egypt or whatnot, and it used to scavenge on dead corpses, a corpse and stuff. So he's like mixing all things together, trying to say, and then he, he starts his conversation with with oh i know muslims are going to be upset uh, you know what what does he say is not he didn't say upset he said i don't know something is in that line i can't remember what i blocked his i blocked him and i didn't want to s- listen to his crap anymore you know what i'm saying <laughs> I used to listen to people, give people a chance and stuff. I listened to him like I listened to some of his videos because I want to kind of dissect what he's telling me. And a lot of it doesn't make sense. It just kind of made me think, why all this, we are bombarded with these false doctrines all the time. And they always they're always getting you to look elsewhere, look elsewhere, but in yourself, how we were created, or looking at the sun. They are making you look else, you know, outside this, this, you know, universe, look for things beyond the universe and whatever. You know, they make you think, look in the places that you shouldn't be looking because there's nothing there, it's just... Uh, a distraction, you know? So anyhow, he says, Allah was dead and and all of that, blah, blah, blah. He said all this crappy things. And he says, al Quraysh, al Quraysh, he says, are, he gave this different, al Quraysh are extended family of Prophet Muhammad. He waged a war on them. He waged a war on them because they are, were they were back then non believers. Okay? Are the wicked one of the extended family of Prophet Muhammad. Okay. So he made it seem like Al Quraysh is a name to is to something else. Isn't that a name of 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 a nation or no of a specific people? He made it like oh you know, Muslim made a mistake. Da, da, da. We know Al Quraysh is mentioned in the whole Quran. Al Quraysh are the extended family of Prophet. Like, for example, my name is this, and then my cousin could have a different last name, but we are related to each other. And so Al Quraysh is part of, you know, that. 
So he's teaching there. So I confronted him about that. And I just said to him, you know what? Stop spreading false doctrines and lies and fabrication. And, you know, what do you get from it? Serving the establishment, you know, spreading, doing their, you know, deeds and bad deeds and doing their wicked agenda, whatever, on the people and stuff. Stop serving these people. They're not really our friend. You're not helping when you're spreading lies and stuff like that. Okay? So why would I listen to Iranian? Because, I, you know, Iranian are Muslim, but Shia. But I believe he's not even a Muslim. Because he says, Muslim people, they're going to feel this way. You understand? When you separate yourself from a group of people, you are not part of that people. You understand? And I'm, now I'm going to talk to you about Iranians and their belief system and how it's BS. They said, you know, prophet, their prophet, uh, they believe in, you know, a cousin of, of, um, of Prophet Muhammad should have been the uh, prophet after Muhammad. After Muhammad died, then he should be. But prophets are, are elected, selected by God. You don't inherit it. You understand? It's not kingship. Kingship you inherit. You understand? And um, so it's like it's BS. They said in their, you know, in Iranian, also other teaching, they say, when the angels were sent to give the to give, to get the to give the prophecy to to prophet Muhammad it went to the wrong person he gave it to Muhammad but he should have given it to Ali do you understand could you hear if you hear this how stupid that sounds angels don't make mistakes you know why they don't make a mistake. Go to a specific person that made a mistake. You know why? Because angels, especially the messenger of God, they work on frequency. We all have different frequency. They follow the frequency of the being, of the person, because all have different frequencies. So vir virtually impossible for the angel to make a mistake. You understand? That's not even point oh, 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 you know, on the left side. It never, would never happen. But it's stupid someone to teach something like that, to say, angel made a mistake. Angels don't make mistake. Okay? Because we're all different. We're all vibrating a different frequency. Okay? They will follow the frequency. That This is how God delivered a message. You understand? But they cannot understand. He could not comprehend that. He's so caught up in the stupidity of teaching, false teaching and false doctrines to understand what I'm telling him. But anyhow, I, I blocked him because I don't want to listen to his crap anymore. But if they're going to be spreading false doctrine, I'm going to talk about them and point who is a false doctor, doc, a false uh, person who's spreading false doctrine, or who's not. So he's one of them. There's so many of them on YouTube, but go look up Persian Ma Maggie with M A G I. You know? Anyhow, that's all I want to talk about. Do not listen to these people. These people are. God is the truth. God is the light. God is perfection. God is exalted above all. You understand? God is perfection. Look at our creation. How our, you know, we were created as a slave race. BS, that's not true. We were not created as a slave race. These people who want to slave us, the people running the show, they want to slave us. Not God. You understand? God perfected our creation. He made us the best, the best 
emanation of the creator or he made us the best we can ever be you understand the god did not make us to be a slave race do not listen to these people yeah they came here for gold and da 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 and he created a slave race to go dig for gold and ta 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 and because you know the gods were tired for excavating the you know look for the gold whatever and okay does that sound like someone who would create people to just go dig for gold and what not you know these people they okay god has weapons he has weapons is beyond belief you understand for people to grasp you understand weapons have never been created in earth ever you understand some weapons or or um blueprint or came yes they came from outside source to, to this planet to was given to a few countries okay yes because there there are weapons of the creator that basically you know when you go and steal intellectual property from they stole it from god pretty much you know they know of a weapon and they came back and they taught it to humanity okay the pyramids the pyramids were not were not created by you know thousands and billions of people pulling in a rock you know weighs over 20 ton or 100 ton whatever tons it is okay that's also a lie you know the pyramids were created by divine beings who can control matter they can control soil they can control air you know the five elements they can move rocks with their mind form it in certain way you understand the pyramids are not created by people how they're showing you on movies and these people are like pulling rocks and being whipped <laughs> you know by pharaohs do you believe that story it's like that's very cute for disney that's like freaking disney disney story freaking you know cinderella story and you know mickey mouse and whatever anyhow you know it's like yeah i just look at things and i just feel like people are so stupid to believe anything they see you know what i'm saying they're like they actually believe you know they even made the pharaohs they made the pharaohs to be all white pharaohs are black you know majority like 90 percent 95 you started black they made everybody be white you know i mean they're white in them like white in jesus making jesus white you know, say, you know what I mean? It's like everything is white. White this and white that and stuff like that. So it's like Muhammad Ali. I watched Muhammad Ali clip, which is very hilarious. He said, so everything is black is bad. So there is no black angels and whatever. He's talking about, you know, you know, angels supposed to be white. And, you know, so it makes you think about what he says, you know, Go, I, ben, I, I don't know specifically the word he said, but in that line, you know, everything is white is bad, is black is bad, everything is white is good, you know? Anyhow, it just kind of make me, it give me the giggles when I listen to stuff like that. I just feel, feel like it's, the BS is manifesting. The BS, the bullshit is manifesting and people are eating it up, okay? Do not believe these people. These people are, you know, you know, once, once someone told me it's, it's easier to be nice than um, and it's hard to be wicked because it takes a lot of my, you know, brain power to be wicked to somebody. What can I do to annoy that person? You understand? 
but it's easy to be nice. You understand? But they're not nice people. They strive of being wicked. You could tell. I look at, you know, creation of weapons and and stuff. They put scientists, they put all this developers and stuff to create weapons. It takes a lot of brain power to go and study and what we need to do and stuff. If if there is no weapons, what can be doing? Do you know what I mean? They're like they just want to create something evil or destructive, you know, form and stuff. But yet they can find cures to a lot of things. Well, they do have the cure to a lot of things, but they just choose not to give it to people. You understand? They choose to make people sick all the time, to generate more money to pharmaceutical companies. Money, 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 money. The train of dark money, blood, the trail of blood, the trail of dead bodies. They love to make us sick. They love to make us, you know, suffer in life. They, they love to benefit from us, from our misery. Life is could be so much better if they're not here. And they complain, they say we are, you know, useless eater. You are not really producing and we are eating and we're being destructive. And in reality, they're the one who has been destructive and you know, wicked and stuff. But they like to point the, you know, blame around, to push the blame around other people, to make themselves like goody goody. They're good people. They are nice people. You know, they're like freaking Barney and, you know, Barney and uh, freaking, you know, spiel of dinosaurs, you know, wearing or Teletubbies and BS and whatever. <laughs> You know, anyhow, um, my point is from m making all this video is you need to dissect information you listen to people. Do not f f wage a war on somebody and stuff because somebody else said so. Do not listen to mainstream media. They're bullshitting, spreading lies. They're bullshitter. They're like, they have... They are, they are a train wreck. You are about to manifest. You know, they are a destructive force. Okay? They are, you know, they are um, clowns. They are clowns. Just pretty much this is it. They're performing monkeys. Okay? And do not really listen to these people. And the problem in this planet is that so much division is created by these people. You understand? This planet would have been a nice place. It would have been like heaven on earth. You know what I'm saying? If they are not governing this planet. Because what, have they, what the damage they have done, it takes thousands of years to undo. You know what I'm saying? to get people to be cohesive again, to be unified again, to be one, okay, with God. Yeah? This is a problem. This, we, are, we are dealing with a big problem here. And people, you need to really wrap your head, your head around it. You need to understand of what's going on. You need to understand what's going on, okay? But people are asleep. Or they follow mainstream media or social media, whatever information they get there, Twitters and all these other form platforms are, you know, the the one who spread false information and da la la, the stuff and all of that need to go. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you're bored, go read a book. Oh, you know, plant, you know, plant a tree in your garden. Hug a tree. You know, go to sit by the ocean. You know what I'm saying? You can do a lot instead of sitting there, you know, 
you know, these feeding, these, you know, making people money on these platforms and um, by spreading lies and fabrication, okay? These people strive from doing that. You know, they get off on it. It's like uh, a horror movie in a, in a theater, you know. They're eating your popcorn and enjoying, you know, this freaking horror movie. All right. Anyhow, that's all I want to say. Um, yes. Uh, tonight, the um, solar eclipse is going to happen. Great things is going to happen. So still have time to do a prayer and and get ready for um you know for the solar eclipse good luck guys i'll tell you how i feel uh tomorrow all right so yeah we'll be talking